Welcome to Soccer Gaming, where all soccerers can game. If you are not already a part of the community, then hit that red subscribe button to become part of Soccer Nation. In the last week's episode, you saw us sign with a agent, sign with the program, and we're moving forward as a player, as an individual, and we're definitely getting better, getting close to that triple A mark. And hopefully very, very soon we can hit that triple A, and that's exactly what we will do in this episode. We are going to be called up to the triple A club and see how long we can stay there before either being called back down to double A or getting the nod to the MLB level, but only time will tell, and we gotta play well in AAA if we wanna get a shot at the major leagues. So if you wanna watch us go up to AAA, stick around. So we're starting off with our training choices, and we're really wanting to replace a few pitches we also again looking for that control so we're going to go with the 12 6 curve control because we got to get our control down our i'm not worried about our pitching strength we just need better control over our pitches slider and that's hit on the ground towards second first inning there's one down one pitch one out second pitch this one's flared off to the right side. two out so two pitches and two outs just like that pitch number three and that's going to be an out too so three pitches and three outs in the first inning definitely the best way to soar through games is low pitch count and definitely helpful here the fourth pitch was hit in and out number six pitch and out so we got five pitches and six there are six pitches and five outs we do get the out there 11 pitches through two innings we're looking to go very very deep in this game a guy on second and first and this is going to get it through and scores a runner from second so already giving up a run still the bottom of the third and a fouled pitch out for the strikeout gets us out of the inning without giving up too many 2-2 two -two count going high inside gonna get the strikeout there in the fifth inning so a strikeout there we're up to 45 pitches Coming back at Wander Franco, he's been struggling against us, and another strikeout by Franco as well. So another strikeout, and we're going to get actually sent out of the game after a six and a third inning. We don't get the win, but we did pitch well. We got three strikeouts, obviously we want more. Five hits, not too bad. The organization has sent in a specialist next game before we get this home game stand. So we're coming in with a specialist. We're going to head to a simulated training game, and hopefully we could do well and increase our player overall. Getting some notes from our pitcher. We're going to just sim basically through this very, very quickly. It's just me pitching a bunch of pitches. But I did want to show you kind of what went on and why. Because I'm going to get a gold in this. And I wanted to show you guys why exactly I got a gold. So you're not like, what did you do to get that gold? I need to know. So basically, just going to simulate through this really, really quickly. Speed up the game. Just pitching. Doing our normal pitching how we normally pitch to people. You know, a bunch of high fastballs. We got the breaking balls down low. We try to set them up with a strike very first pitch. All of that stuff is exactly what we were doing to try to get that gold rating. Obviously, the gold ratings very, very helpful for our growth. But to get that, you definitely need some strikeouts. So be looking for the strikeout pitch. Don't really worry about the hits given up. I would more worry about the strikeout pitch because that's what's going to give you the big attribute abuse. And just like that, we got three clutch, Stepping two and a bunch of box, other categories from just that trading. Five games of this home stand, three and two. A strikeout no here in the first more, inning. Throw them out the first. And just like that, three four. pitches, three strikes, and an out. Over Next the guy the up, 3-2 count. Going to catch this one Man, ourselves. This we don't need help on defense. We good. And just like that in the second inning, again, we good. We don't need help on defense. And we got that glove. We got that gold glove. 
And another strikeout, so Maverick looking good today. 31 pitches in through the third inning. Fastball high and inside. Foul the way. We're going to go down and in. Change the level, and he's going to swing through that even though it was in the middle. And then we're going to go high fastball again because he can't catch it. Swung on and missed, and that's the final out of the inning. So just like that, no so strike. Now a dynamic in. challenge up for us. Clutch up and hold the lead. To tie this ball game up with in the, the inning without run, earning a run, or in the inning without allowing a run, or ever falling behind in the account. I, just, I think we should do that. I don't think we'll ever really fall behind. As long as we pitch strikes, we'll be fine. Very next pitch, almost a hit. Bailed out by our second baseman, and boom, just like that, another upgrade. To Raleigh. Fastball high and inside into the seventh inning. Only 70 pitches in. 74th pitch is a strikeout as well in the seventh inning. Looking good late. We will get the win after being taken out in the seventh inning. But we are happy with how it turned out. We did very, very well with that big head. Six and two thirds, four hits given up. Showing you kind of what we did. A lot less pitches right down the middle, which is good. A lot of pitches. On the outside, on the inside, definitely a, a lot better showing today. Obviously, the the opponents hitting 182. The only hit they really had was a slider, but giving up one earned run, giving up four hits, two walks, which is quite a bit. But the six strikeouts, especially three in the seventh inning, is definitely good to see. Southern League first half. We're gonna keep going. And we are in the All-Star game, so let's get it started. In the All-Star game, coming in the third inning. And not able to get the first in time, not paying attention, not able to get over there. But we will take the third out here, calling off the catcher. So we had one inning pitch, gave up one hit and one walk. Josh Green. A double-A manager has called one of his young players in for a quick word. Getting called in by the coach. Hopefully we get that call up to triple-A, and it looks like that's exactly what's going on. We will definitely get that call up to the triple-A team. The word is good. Finally, meeting our brand-new coach. Within 48 hours, this player will be in a new city and putting on a new uniform. A triple-A manager welcomes a new arrival from double-A. Wanting to see how we're going to do this. we got to play at a higher-level play, but I think we can do that. This prospect showed promise at the double-A level. So we are now on to triple-A after doing well in double-A up to the Wichita Wind Surge. The organization is hopeful his progress will continue here. Now on your home for minor league baseball, MLB The Show has coverage from the AAA Pacific Coast League. Number 69, the right-hander from Canada will be the starting pitcher. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, we're looking at a guy that knows how to pitch. Last year, his ERA was just under 3.5 for the season. And I would imagine going into the offseason, he's looking to better that. And hopefully, he gets off to a good start. And we'll see if that starts in this one today. So Hoping to get off to a good start here in Triple A, our first game, our first appearance. Strikeout, one on one count. Going against Keon Braxton. Almost hit him with a sinker inside. Going down and in here. And then it's a flying up, but we get the strike. So 2 2 count. Gonna try to set him away with the breaking ball outside. The slider doesn't get him to chase. Full count, three and two to Gonna go with our strong pitch, and, and wow, we don't get the call. He lays it off of it, so a walk in the first inning. Now we got a runner on first and third, but that's all they're going to do with a strikeout. Getting us out of the inning. The next challenge up for us in the inning without throwing a wild pitch. Let's end the inning without allowing a run or a walk. Uh, I think we're going to do the... The wild pitch because we want the control maybe we yeah let's do that we want the control that's a lot of control there so we're gonna go ahead and do that hopefully we can do that without throwing a wild pitch 
Beautiful throw there. One, two count. Looking for the Ready strikeout. The, one, the high fastball. And that'll do and it. That a strikeout for Raleigh. Gets us out of the inning. No and the challenge the is completed. Going into the fifth and inning. Still a 0 0 game. A guy on first and a single to the left side. And we hit the next guy. So the bases are going to be juiced in the fifth inning. 0 2 count. Looking to get a strikeout. Trying to get out of this inning. He's going to throw it. And. And, oh, safe at first, so losing a run there. Could have been a double play, but kind of our own fault that we got ourselves into that situation. We're going to get this one flipped up, and we make it the first in time with our speedy wheels. And that will be it for us. Five innings pitched, giving up five hits, one walk, four strikeouts, and one earned run. So not too bad, only giving up that one earned run. A pretty good outing for our first AAA appearance. Going to the training choices themselves. Again, we're wanting to raise anything that can possibly help us. And in this one, we're going to raise the cap for our walks per nine. Welcome to MLB The Show in this presentation of Minor League Baseball. Tonight it's the first of four between the Wichita Wind Surge. Getting the start today, a one-two count. We'll take that, even though it didn't look like a strike, but we'll definitely take the strike out. 3-2 count and a beautiful curve on that one. Fools the batter, fools me. Strike out number two. Next guy up, strike out number three for him. Raleigh looking very, very good in just his second game. And now we are up to bat. We did pretty decent in double A with batting, but I think we could definitely do better in triple A with how well we're hitting. So we're going to go ahead and make solid contact with this for the extra challenge. 1 0 count right down the middle. And this is going to be launched to right field, but very good contact. But for some reason, the challenge is failed. Obviously, because we didn't get a hit on that one. But we are doing pretty well in the pitching category. A strikeout there. Our fourth of the game in the sixth inning. Very next guy up. Ooh, he did not go after the curve down. We're going to try to see if he goes down after it. That one he does. He definitely swings. And that's the second time we struck him out today. Going to the seventh inning. Looking to get an out here. 0 for 2. Michael Bush only has 75 pitches through seven innings. A grounder up the middle. That might take us out for the game. But we did pitch six and a third innings. And yes, it will. That'll take us out of the game. But not a bad game through six and a third. End up getting five strikeouts, five hits, and one earned run, and no walks, which is probably what I'm most happy about is the, the walking. The walking is always so hard for us to do to keep the control we've been really trying to fix the control and i feel like we are finally at a tipping point where the control is no longer a factor and the only i guess factor for us is to just play the game get stats and in, get innings in and just make smart pitches ready to deliver Here's second first inning pitch. and the next start circle change there for the strike, 0-1 oh, count. Here comes the 0 and 1. Yeah. Throw the same exact thing yeah, with the sinker. Now we are going down right and out of the zone. And it ends up floating over the zone. The Luckily, not a hit. So let's hit him with the high inside the fastball. Pitch. All he's seeing is uh, low really pitches, and it fools him. The high fastball for, for a so strikeout. A good hard fastball in on a guy's hands and 11 pitches into the game. A sinker down. Trying to set him up here. Going to set him with a fastball high and inside. Ends up being in the middle of the plate, but a strike nonetheless. And now here comes the breaking curve. Just like that, another three-pitch strikeout. Next guy up, trying to get another strikeout with three pitches. A strike on the first pitch. Going to go down here. And it goes over the middle, shattered bat, but it looks like it's going to be foul. And that means we're going to send him away with the curve down and in. Fouls that one off, so not a three-pitch strikeout. Send him with a high fastball after the low change. Nothing there. Just got to keep working the eye level. 
of the batter. This one he does go after, not able to get it, so three strikeouts in the second inning. Going to the third, we got the 1 0 lead, another strikeout of Nagowski. Another strikeout. They're just going after everything right now, feeling very, very good about how we're pitching. And another strikeout there. Raleigh looking really good. Only through three innings. 31 pitches. And just like that, we are taken out. But we do get the victory. We're happy with the win. Felt really good. We did pitch a seven and a third. Seven strikeouts. Two hits. And one walk. No earned runs given up. We do get the victory. We do get the win. The first of our AAA career and hopefully many more to come if you guys like this episode make sure you give it a big thumbs up and also feel free to hit that red subscribe button make sure you comment down below and let me know what you guys are liking and not liking about these videos what you would like to add if you'd like to know a little bit more about something comment that down below and i will try to make sure i add it in in the next episode till next time slacker out